Okay, so let's do one of these acid-base reactions, another one. It says, given that Ka for the ammonium ion is 5.75 times 10 to the negative 10th, and the Ka for um, carbonic acid, H2CO3, is 4.37 times 10 to the negative 7th, calculate the KEQ and predict the position of the equilibrium in the following acid-base reaction. Please explain for full credit, okay? So the first thing you have to remember in order to do this is the KEQ equation in relation to KX. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Okay, so let's write that down. So the KEQ equals what? Uh, reactant sodium. Well, it's the KA of the reactant acid, okay? So KEQ, if you just say reactant sodium products, people will be like, no, that's not right, okay? So you got to say KEQ of the reactant acid over the KEQ, or the KA of the reactant acid over the KA of the product acid, okay? So now we've got to figure out, well, it's a good thing they gave us these two KAs, right? So we don't have to look on a list. But which one of these is the acid, NH3 or H2CO3? H2CO3, okay? How do you know that? Yeah, you look at the, the products over there and you see that the hydrogen has been added to this thing, okay? Or removed from this thing, okay? So this is the, what we say, the reactant acid. And which one of these is the product acid, left or right? Left, okay, so the product acid. Okay, and the cool thing about when they give us the KAs is we don't have to translate from the PKs to the KAs. So this is more like a plug and chug, chug type thing, but you do need to have a calculator in order to do this thing, unless you're really good at doing this thing. Okay. So the KA of the reactant acid is going to be this one. Everybody's got that, right? 4.3 times 10 to the negative 7. And the Ka of the product acid is 5.75 times 10 to the negative 10. Like that. So let's get out our calculators. And you should expect um, that since the smaller number is on the bottom, that this number is going to be bigger than 1. Okay? So that's a way to kind of check yourself. And if we look at it, yeah, it's 760. You know, so that's bigger than 1. In fact, let's draw it as, let's write it as 7.60 times 10 to the 2. Okay, that really shows us that it's bigger than so, since the KEQ is bigger than 1, what does that mean for the reaction? That um, the reactants or the products are bigger? Products. Products are bigger. Okay, so since this is bigger than 1, if we were to draw these arrows in, we would draw them like that. Okay, so in other words, the... Uh, I can see some inquisitive wheels turning, but no questions. Huh? Okay.